Why do people die in sleep? Greek mythology considers sleep as the twin brother of death, children of the personified gods of darkness and night. It shows there was always been an association between sleep and death. When people die in their sleep, it is considered as a peaceful and almost ideal way to pass away. We spend one third of our life for sleep. So it should be no surprise that a lot of people die in their sleep. Sleep disorders like sleep apnea, snoring, and insomnia contribute to a higher risk of never waking up from bed. Homicide often occurs during sleep, and murders also happen more often at night. Medications that are taken at night, for pain and insomnia, increase the risk of death. Sedatives and opioids may alter or suppress breathing. This may be more likely if these drugs are taken in overdose, or with alcohol. Painful conditions like cancer, may require levels of morphine that accelerate the process of dying by slowing respiration. Acute decline of cardiac function, such as a massive heart attack, quickly impacts blood flow to the brain and lead to rapid respiratory arrest. In heart failure, the lungs quickly fill up with fluid as part of pulmonary edema. There is considerable evidence that cardiac function is stressed during sleep. Rapid eye movement REM, sleep, in particular, may redline the system with increasing risk towards morning. A circadian pattern of cardiac dysfunction, often occur late in the night and near the time of waking may end the life. Heart attacks occur when coronary arteries supplying the heart get obstructed and the tissue supply dies. These myocardial infarctions range from minor events that slightly compromise function to catastrophic blockages that lead to the heart's complete failure as a pump. If blood cannot be circulated, the other systems of the body quickly fail and death ensues. The heart can also experience irregularities that impact its electrical system. The charge that is required to fire off the muscle in a synchronized fashion get disrupted. The contractions become irregular, too fast or too slow, and the heart's pumping effectiveness will be compromised. These arrhythmias may be a frequent cause of death during sleep. A systole is a cardiac arrest rhythm when the electrical activity of the heart cannot be detected. Atrial fibrillation or flutter may undermine cardiac function. Similar ventricular rhythms, including ventricular tachycardia, may become fatal. Cardiac blocks affecting the electrical pattern may also lead to heart dysfunction and death. Chronic, congestive heart failure may also gradually lead to the failure of the heart. Left-sided heart failure quickly impacts the right side of the heart, leading to fluid accumulation in the lungs with shortness of breath, especially when lying down, and swelling in the feet and legs called peripheral edema. If the heart experiences volume overload, its ability to circulate blood may cease. Importantly, the heart may affect other systems that rely on its ability to circulate blood. Most notably, an irregular heart rhythm may lead to a clot that travels to the brain and causes a stroke. High blood pressure, or hypertension, may increase the risk of stroke. If a stroke impacts the brain stem, breathing, eye opening, muscle control, and consciousness may be compromised. These strokes may be fatal and can occur in sleep. Lungs complement the function of the heart and like a team. If one system acutely fails, the other is likely to follow in short order. Pulmonary disease is often chronic, and the impacts may develop more slowly. When a critical threshold is reached, however, death may occur. At the most basic level, the lungs are responsible for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide with the environment. When they do not function properly, oxygen levels fall, carbon dioxide levels rise, and dangerous changes in the acid-base balance of the body can occur this poisons all the cells. Acute obstruction, such as choking on vomit, may lead to asphyxiation. Though unlikely, it is also possible for an obstructive sleep apnea event to prove fatal. Respiratory failure may occur due to chronic, degenerative disease. This can be the failure of the lungs themselves, such as in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, emphysema, cystic fibrosis, lung cancer, pulmonary fibrosis, 
pneumonia. Status asthmaticus. Pulmonary embolus. It is also possible for the lungs to fail due to changes in the muscles or nervous system, such as with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis or myasthenia gravis. There are even congenital disorders that affect the ability to breathe like congenital central hypoventilation syndrome. Sudden infant death syndrome represents a failure to breathe normally during sleep. When death approaches slowly, there is a characteristic pattern of breathing that occurs. It is called chain stokes respiration. It is often noted in heart failure, narcotic medication use, and injury to the brain stem. It may indicate imminent breathing cessation and death. Consciousness may become depressed as the affected person slips away. Considering other causes and the role of sleep disorders, it is possible for death in sleep to occur due to a few other disorders, including some sleep conditions. In particular, seizures may be fatal. There is a condition known as sudden death in epilepsy that is not fully understood. Obstructive sleep apnea may exacerbate other medical conditions that may ultimately be fatal. These include strokes, heart attacks, heart failure, and arrhythmias that can all result in sudden death. It is possible to die from sleep behaviors called parasomnias. Sleepwalking can lead someone into dangerous situations. Pseudosuicide describes fatalities among people with sleepwalking injuries who die without known depression or suicidal ideation. REM sleep behavior disorder may lead to a fallout of bed and head trauma in sleep. This could cause an internal hemorrhage, an epidural hematoma can quickly prove deadly. Even if the sleep disorder is not immediately fatal, there is evidence that omnia increases the risk of suicide. Chronic sleep deprivation may increase overall mortality after years of poor sleep. In order to avoid dying in the night from a sleep disorder, be aware of other symptoms, including insomnia and early morning awakenings, or signs of sleep apnea, pauses in breathing, snoring, nactria, bruxism, excessive daytime sleepiness, mood and cognitive problems, etc. Fortunately, sleep disorders are treatable. Optimize your overall health and don't forget the important role of healthy sleep. Thank you.